Stefan? Yes. Um, can you all hear me? Yes. This is okay? Yes. The, um, I will talk a little bit about my background uh, because I'm a good example of what happens when a national artist uh, goes international. Uh, my background is fairly traditional in the respect that I studied at an art school very similar to this one, the, art, uh, the Academy of Fine Arts in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, I was represented by a gallery there uh, for a number of years. Uh, I saw basically myself in a national context uh, and uh, if people would know about my art and myself at all, they would, that would be in Sweden. Uh, I started to exhibit in other countries around 1987, in Paris in 1987. And my current project is a project about China. Uh, I experienced the, uh, the uh, democracy movement in China around 1988 89 uh, and I documented this in uh, poetry, in painting, in uh, video, in uh, photography. The fact is that the world has changed considerably since the founding of the nation. So the world of the United States of America is one. Uh, in a group of one between, uh, say, if you have a group of between 20 and 30 people, uh, at least one of them no longer live in the place of origin. There's a very great, there's, there's a whole spectrum of new uh, global civilization growing, it, it, and it's growing right now because people are there's a big mobility of people in the world. The numbers of people have, have gone up dramatically and they will go up even more. Uh, the, uh, I, do, I, I do respect the, the, uh, uh, the, the efforts that uh, national organizations do for their artists, but I do wish, based on my own experience, that somebody would put this in a global perspective instead of a national one. I don't think culture has, a bit, especially bit, uh, art history, has never been truly national. The, uh, uh, the languages you can choose to speak as an artist are, are related to the period and the epoch. The, uh, the, and they can be seen in different, uh, just like flowers, you can find different species of, uh, of the Baroque in China as well as in Mexico or in, uh, or in Sweden even. <laughs> The, the same is true of, of, of modern art. Yeah. You, can, you can find the, the, uh, uh, any kind of, of, uh, of just like if you speak a certain language or a certain dialect. I don't think it ever was national. national nations insist that they are not national, and they usually, the, 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 the common perception of a culture is that you, you have a pyramid of artists, and preferably one is at the top of it and who is representative of the culture. The, uh, which is like Frida Kahlo perhaps in Mexico, but you forget then that both Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo did speak, uh, you can say that a visual language that was, was from the Renaissance. With you, Stefan, uh, that was not a problem in Sweden, was it? Had you stayed in Sweden and not traveled as you have, how would that have influenced your art or acted upon your art? Oh, I think I could have been quite happy in Sweden. It's not it's a good environment to be in. And the difficulty, if you, if you do not base yourself on, on, on an existing uh, uh, platform of some kind, uh, uh, is that, that uh, it will be difficult to get support. I believe that must be a difficult for us international too, because the, uh, the uh, uh, when it, most people would believe it do not have anything against uh, free interchange of ideas, but when it comes to actual resources, you get into a different situation. Well, there's a, there's a saying in a talk at the dinner or lunch, whatever it was, um, with a writer from Sweden who, who told me that uh, where he came from, which provincial Sweden, they have a saying saying that uh, all, uh, let's say, uh, no, I can't remember what he said. <laughs> what was that? Uh, all great art is provincial, but all provincial art is not great. Okay. The, uh, the, um, this, this animal that, that, uh, that many organizations and exhibitors look for, the, the artist who is both uh, uh, a 
as internationally marketable as he is provincially in expression hardly exists. The, uh, I believe. Show me uh, uh, reproductions of your work. And I'm curious, uh, you, you, were, you, you were in China uh, during the Tiananmen Square uh, events. And uh, did that circumstance have any influence on your art other than, say, the poetry? As a painter, as a, as a poet also, I do express myself in very many different ways. So I'm, I'm very, I'm, I don't know what you call multiple, multiple personality disorder. The, <laughs> I, I can, I, my experience of the United States is possibly that there is a crisis in education in the United States. The, uh, partly because it's a market oriented and education gets a secondary status. The, uh, American art would gain a lot from, from knowing more about what's valuable in the past, in my experience, and you can draw a lot of, uh, of strength and inspiration here. On the other hand, I do hope, sincerely hope, yes, I think you're right. The, I hope that there will be a great inspiration of wonderful new art groups being made, and uh, I, I do believe a lot of people do look to New York for them. They might be wrong, but it might also be a self-fulfilling prophecy, so I hope New York can live up to its, 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 uh, its reputation of being cultural capital of the world.